Mel Jean Brooke, uh, you've just got so many things that you've been working on. You have your Angel series, and uh, Demon Blood was the last released in that series. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you tell the readers a little bit about that? Um, Demon Blood is the sixth full-length novel in the Guardian series. Is it the sixth already? It's the sixth. Oh <laughs> okay. It seems like it's gone very fast, but... Um, I know, I know. I've missed some books in between. <laughs> oh. um, it started with Demon Angel, which was um, a demon and a guardian. And so we've gone through a couple of different books. There's been va vampires and guardians, humans and vampires. And so this time we've got a guardian and a vampire. and. Um, it's probably one of my more emotional books. Um, I, I'm, I seem to be well known for having like, these giant plots and um, complicated characters, um, but this one is, um, it really focuses on the romance and it has a lot of heart, I think. Oh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to action. read that. Now, here's a question for you. I always have to ask when, when you're in a series. Uh, would it be a stand enough alone that I could read it on its own or do I really need to catch up? Although there is a, a an overarching storyline, there is one. Um, this particular book, because I do worry that readers won't be able to catch up, this has probably the longest prologue that you've ever seen in a book. It yes. catch it catch it will catch you up um, to exactly where the Guardian series has come. And also, my website, I make sure that it is always full of hints and spoilers for readers who are coming in late to the series and. If, if they want to catch up, they really can without reading all of the books because it's, it's a long series. It's hard to jump in in the middle and to know what has gone before. But in this particular book, I've made sure that if you come in, you, you will know what's going on. And then after we read it, we're going to want to start from the beginning and get back into it, the whole thing, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's in stores now, so Demon Blood, uh, mm -hmm. I'll be there. Uh, then... Now this is really interesting to me. I know you've got Burning Up, uh, which is an anthology, and there's several authors in there. Nalini Singh is one. And you're doing something a little different with steampunk, so you gotta tell us about that. Well, steampunk uh, romance, um, actually steampunk has been a genre that's been around for a while. It's kind of like, typically it's a Victorian science fiction type of genre, and so we haven't seen a lot of it in the romance. Um, it's been more fantasy, would you say? Right. Um, yeah. It's actually kind of science fiction, although okay. we do see fantasy elements like um, uh, werewolves or some magic. Um, but I think it's really accessible, too. Um, um, I compare it a lot to, um, and this is odd because uh, J.D. Robbs are futuristic, and, but it's the same type of, um, if you read historicals, you just kind of take what they had in the technology they had and extrapolate, you know, 50 years. What if it went in a in a bigger, different direction than it did? And so you've got the science fiction. So you can think like Jules Verne, but just like um, J.D. Robb, where you can see where her future has come from what we have today. It's, it's you said it's 200 years before that, and you can, if you read historicals, then you know you can see where everything comes from, even though everything has been changed, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, you've intrigued mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I, I, I've just had a great time writing it. I mean, oh. it's a blast. Yeah. Yes, because this launches a series, so that's a novella, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you go right into the uh, Iron Duke, which mm -hmm. is out in October. Mm -hmm. Yes, out in October. Um, the novella is like a small little slice of the world, and in the Iron Duke, we see a lot more of it. So, um, it's it's. Uh, it's a great adventure. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's okay. a lot of fun. Sounds, sounds great. Sounds mm -hmm. excellent. So you're always thinking of uh, new things and new plots, new worlds. <laughs> uh, where, where do you come up with your ideas? Uh, are you sublimely get your thoughts from, from movies, other books? Where, I mean, where do you get your ideas? You know, it does come from everywhere. Like, um, uh, a lot of um, the basic um, idea from the Iron Duke, the, the bad guys, um, came from a book I read when I was eight years old. And you know, so there's just stuff that like sits around and you watch movies, you read books, and it all eventually like pulls together into, um, you know, a another book, which <laughs> um, it really does come from everywhere. I, I mean, there's nothing that I've ever sat down and had like this moment of, oh, I'm gonna write this, this is really great. You know, it comes from everything, the Guardian series, um, came from comic books, came from John Milton, came from movies, and um, you know, just adding in things that will will be exciting, um, both emotionally and I in an imaginative way. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Oh. I, I pull it from everywhere if I can. 
So, do you are you a movie fanatic? Do you do you love going to the movies or? I do you love do? going yeah, to the movies, yeah. but I'm. Are you, you know, a gamer? Because you talked a little bit about. Uh, you know, I don't. Some, I don't. You don't. Okay. I don't play very many games. I like okay. to watch the games. Like okay. I used to make my sister play, and then I'd like tell her shoot that guy, shoot you know. But no, <laughs> she would get mad at me, and eventually it would, it would all fall apart. But um, <laughs> no, I love movies, and um, but I'm not like a huge romance movie fan. I, like I love. I love movies that have romance in them like uh, for example Terminator you've got this yeah. great romance you know but I'm action I'm adventure I I like the horror <laughs> <laughs> but it's mean for like a romantic comedy and I'm like no, <laughs> not no, so I much fun gotta this. have that no. action going on yeah oh, so I, I think that really does bleed into the books too you know I I always have to have you know something happening something going on something moving and I, it's been wonderful having you here and thanks so much for joining us thank you <laughs>